As you can see, this is just completely loose. There's one actually right there. Okay, I had one more issue that I don't think I told you guys about. If you see this big area here in the lawn, that area that was completely pulled out, I believe I have some insect damage, grub damage of some kind going on in a few various places. That was one of the major ones. And let's go to the backyard and I'll show you a couple other things that are going on back there and then I'll show you what I'm going to try to do about it. So as we walk down this area here, you can see down right here, I have areas that are just completely pulling out of the yard. You just kind of grab onto them and they're completely loose. Let's see if I can find another spot. Here was one that I, a spot that I took up before. Okay, so you watch right here, this piece looks dead, which pretty much is, and it'll just pull right out of the yard, just completely gone. Now, when I pulled this up the other day, there was a white grub under here. I found a couple other ones throughout the yard in various places. As you can see, this is just completely loose. There's one actually right there. So what's happening is this thing is getting completely destroyed by those grubs. Pretty gross actually. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to hopefully do about this. Let's go look at some products that I just picked up. say this is not your typical automobile to go pick up malorganite and a couple other lawn things but it is pretty fun so I needed to get a little bit of malorganite pick that up today and then I also picked up some of this so that's what I'm gonna be trying to use on the grub problem that I have going on I did not put down any grub preventative earlier in the year it's not something that I've actually ever done because I've never had a problem with it before and honestly, I didn't really know a whole lot about it up until the research that I just did in the last couple days. So this product is supposed to kill them within 24 hours. It contains something called Dilox. Most people will use something like Merit earlier in the year to kill off the grubs before they get to that stage where they're killing the lawn like mine are. But obviously, as I said again, I did not do that. So we're going to try this. I believe it needs to be completely watered in, so that's going to be an interesting thing for me to try to get done while I'm also watering all the other parts of my yard. So tomorrow I'm hopefully going to time it out where I can get this put down before it's supposed to rain. There's a very good chance of rain tomorrow, so we're going to hopefully bet on that. Even if I have to go cover my spreader and walk around in the rain putting it down, I think that's going to be my only option compared to trying to water the whole yard, which just isn't going to happen right now. So the next part of this video will be me applying this and we will skip to that part next. Hello everyone, we are now going to put down the grub control. There's about an 80% chance of rain later today. So I'm going to hope that that happens because I don't want to have to move all my sprinklers around and try to water this yard when I have everything kind of set up for my seed right now. So let's go ahead and put down this grub control. We want the two pound, four and a half is the setting. supposed to cover 5,000 square feet which as you if you saw in my last couple videos this front area that we seeded was about 3,200 so this should get us well into the backyard setting a 4.5 put on my edge guard
Okay guys, I'm in the backyard. I'm running out of battery on my GoPro here. So I'll get you set up for what we can do. And otherwise, you kind of saw the process. It's pretty easy. Just like spreading pretty much any other fertilizer or anything like that. Okay, that's the grub treatment. I went and got my camera charged up so I could do the end of this video here. But hopefully that will do it for these uh, grubs. And also, if you saw my video a little while back where I put down Melorganite right around the Labor Day time, you'll notice that there's a few little uh, moths flying around. <laughs> And that's kind of a good sign too that there's some other insect problems happening. So hopefully this will take care of everything and I'll let you know. We'll do an update on this, see if we find anything or hopefully we don't find any more problem areas. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.